Hi there, could you introduce yourself to our viewers? Hi, I'm Russell Brower, and I'm director of audio and video at Blizzard Entertainment. So, who, you have been working with two colleagues on the audio. Who, 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 who was it? Actually, I have a department of about 12, and there are two other of my colleagues that compose music. So, between the three of us, we've uh, added about seven hours of music to Wrath of the Lich King. How did you decide on which zone to pick or where to actually... And was it that a certain zone talked to you more than a different zone, or how did you split up the different zones? As soon as we had uh, an idea of the scope of the whole uh, expansion set, we put all the concept art we could find on the wall of my office, and we looked at you know, Howling Fjord and Grizzly Hills and Sholazar, and each of us, I think, saw something that spoke to us in, as individuals, as individual composers. And the skill sets of the three of us are complementary, but there is some overlap. So we, we've each had to write full orchestral music, and we've each done complete uh, synthesizer scores, and everything in between. But we, we each have things we prefer to do. So um, in my case, I went right for uh, Howling Fjord and Grizzly Hills and Sholazar, as I mentioned. Um, Derek Duke went straight for uh, Zuldrak and uh, the troll areas, and Glenn Stafford, who, uh, by the way, founded the audio department many years ago at Blizzard, he had written the um, Torin music and the Dwarven music for the original release of World of Warcraft. So it made sense for him to reprise some of those ideas and develop them for the Winter Torin, the, the Tonka, and the uh, uh, Iron Dwarves. So um, once you got the basic idea of uh, how a zone looks, what monsters are there, um, how did development move on after that, after you got the idea? Just about the second that we can get in the game and see the, um, the actual sets, if you will, um, when, it comes, when it's transformed from concept art to uh, an actual space we can explore, that's when the ideas really start coming. So uh, I'll speak about in my case, I'll explore the areas at great, le at great length and I'll take screenshot after screenshot and I'll end up uh, filling my screensaver and my desktop and, and the walls of my office with all these kind of inspirational shots from uh, the new zones in the game. And I will also read up on the backstory, the lore. Um, I'll work with the uh, design teams who are coming up with the different boss encounters in the various uh, zones or dungeons, and all this percolates over time, um, often several months, and maybe other things are going on at the same time. Uh, we might be working on, you know, StarCraft II or Diablo III, but then it comes time to bring it all home, and we might have a recording session planned. And all that mulling it over, all that uh, time spent imagining, and it, I think in the back of my mind it's sort of been just developing. And when that time comes, uh, it actually comes out pretty quickly, and I write on score paper, kind of the old-fashioned way, and uh, we hire some really amazing musicians to perform the, the music. And then following that, there's a kind of post-production stage where we add the big kind of epic drums, and the, we make the music you know, even bigger, if sometimes that's possible. Because especially in the world of Warcraft, the, the music cannot be too epic or too bold. So, um, yeah, talked about the recording. The implementation of, uh, of the music is you have a, a certain, uh, certain music that is in the background while you are questing or doing uh, or working or playing in a certain area. Then again, you have music for instances and boss fights. Um, what's the big difference besides the action settings? Do you, um, what, what music for boss fights or instances uh, did, you, did you write for Wrath of the Lich King, for instance? Um. Music has different roles in the game, I think, depending on what's going on. And you mentioned uh, maybe exploration versus uh, being in a boss fight. And within the exploration, the music's more in the background, and we want it to sort of barely materialize out of the ambient sound effects and not call too much attention to itself. Because uh, uh, people spend a lot of time in a given zone, and the music... Would, would get repetitive if it was playing all the time. So we have it come and go. And then when you progress out of these uh, more exploration modes into maybe an encounter where um, you, know, you, you 
defeat a certain set of mobs and then you defeat a boss and you get a key and you open this and you go into another space and, and have a big epic battle. In those moments, uh, the music can step out a little more into the foreground or at least the midground and, and not draw attention to itself but enhance this, this, this moment and this, this uh, you bring your adrenaline level up and, and make it a lot more fun. So we, we try to create, compose to fit these different levels of energy and uh, how much gameplay. We also want to be aware of how much people might need to communicate with each other and not uh, step on that too much. Uh, and then we'll work with the designers uh, to figure out how to trigger the music so that as you step into a different area or you unlock something, uh, you know, a new piece of music will play or it's, it will further the story somehow. Um, actually, there was a question. Um, uh, the music starting in, in different in different settings or uh, uh, coming up again and rising uh, and falling down again. Um, what was the most favorite instrument you used for the music? The, the instrument you you instantly thought of while when looking at the artworks of a certain zone. Well, we used some some unique instruments that we had not in the past. One that stands out in my mind is uh, in Howling Fjord, you will hear a lot of the instrument called the Illin Pipe, and that's, uh, or Illin Pipes, that's a, an Irish bagpipe. And uh, that, it's, it's a very lyrical instrument. It evokes something that, for us, was kind of fit with the whole Vrykul overlay of, of that space and the, the architecture and everything. And then as you go into, the, the, the instances and start hearing the, the, the more complex music, it, it takes on a different role. The, 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 the drone, the, bag, the, the bagpipe drone starts joining in with the, with the lead voices and it gets more intense, whereas back outside in the more exploration areas, you'll just hear the, the gentle lead voice with a lot of echo. It sounds like it's echoing you know, across the valley or, or over the, the moors, if you will. Um, the last question, is there also a singing part again in the soundtrack of Breath of the Ditch King? There's a very special vocal in the uh, opening cinematic when we were scoring the uh, scene where Arthas is standing over the ice precipice and, and uh, uh, showing the, the Frostmord uh, sword and, and uh, his father is doing this solemn voiceover, uh, we originally had planned to use uh, a male tenor voice to sing this uh, bit of wording that comes from uh, the coronation ceremony, and this all relates back to, to uh, Warcraft 3. And while we were actually recording this with, with, the, with the live singer, it, it, it felt good, but we were like, how do we bring this over the top? How do we, we add that little something, that blizzard extra... Um, value and, 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 and really uh, strike it home. And I think it hit about three of us at once to actually re record that with uh, a young boy uh, alto voice. And the uh, contrast of what King Tarnas voice is saying versus what you're seeing, the Lich King, what Arthas has become, and hearing this kind of innocent childlike voice singing the coronation uh, ceremony words it, it, it gave us chills, and we knew it would have such a, a greater impact. So I'd, I'd say that's probably our, our favorite vocal moment in Wrath of the Lich King. Okay, thanks a lot. My pleasure. Thank you.